Bruno Mars is famous for pouring his heart out in sweet love songs. What his fans may be surprised to learn is that the charming pop star has an equally gorgeous girlfriend. Here's how Jessica Caban rose to fame. Bruno Mars isn't the kind of celebrity to give the press or his fans access to his private life. However, in 2016, Rolling Stone obtained a more personal interview from Bruno Mars, revealing that the singer began dating Jessica Caban in 2010 and that they lived together in a mansion worth, quote, a reported $6.5 million. That means that Mars and Caban's relationship dates back to the very beginning of his career, considering his debut album, doo and Hooligans, also dropped in 2010. Concerning his relationship with Caban, Mars demurred when asked by Rolling Stone if he was going to propose to the model. He said, She's my best friend, my rock, what's wrong with that? We're just happy. Before linking up with Mars, Jessica Caban's first introduction to the spotlight came through modeling. Her initial breakthrough in the industry, fittingly, came from another celebrity of Puerto Rican descent who also grew up in the Bronx, Jennifer Lopez. In 2002, Lopez was at the peak of her aughts fame, engaged to Ben Affleck, and releasing hit singles. Lopez held a nationwide search in spring 2002 to select an up-and-coming model to be the face of her J.Lo clothing line, and selected Caban as the contest's runner-up. Even though Caban didn't win, she gushed about her brush with fame in an interview with Daily News. She was so much fun. She helped us get our nails done, our hair done, and pick out our clothes. We sang and listened to music with her for hours. Years later, Caban would credit Lopez for helping her launch her career, telling Complex in 2009 that she was first discovered in the modeling industry thanks to Lopez. In 2008, Jessica Caban scored another modeling opportunity, this time with the reality competition show Model Latina, which was broadcast on the cable network Nuvo TV. At her audition, Caban told the judges that she had been standing in line with her parents since 5.30 in the morning for the chance to appear on the show. She also had the chance to talk about her future dreams. When I first started, I wanted to get into business. So someday I hope to have my own company of where maybe I can fund movies or films for young Latinas or Latinos. Caban persevered through the show's on-camera modeling challenges and was eventually crowned the winner, winning a contract with Q Management. Other prizes included a cash reward and a feature in Latina Magazine. In a 2012 interview with Blended Entertainment, Caban recalled, My favorite photo shoot would have to be the feature Latina Magazine did on me after winning Model Latina. She also added that, Now I'm working on getting a cover someday. Caban's cover girl dreams didn't remain a fantasy for long. Later that year, she appeared on the cover of Fusion Magazine with a vintage-inspired shoot. Considering that Jessica Caban once revealed that Rita Moreno in West Side Story was her role model, it's no surprise that she had aspirations to appear in dramatic roles. In 2010, the budding actress starred in the indie drama Are You For Great Sex and received a positive reception at independent film festivals around the country. Caban won two Best Actress awards for her role, both at the Boston International Film Festival and Hoboken International Film Festival. In a 2010 interview about the film, Caban revealed that she was cast after the movie's director, Cynthia Sheung, spotted her in an airport. As it turns out, Sheung was inspired enough by the celeb's looks and personality to send her the script. Jessica Caban found on-screen success on the CW show Jane the Virgin, which won accolades for its on-screen diversity and majority Latino cast. Caban joined the cast in the show's third season, appearing in several episodes between 2016 and 2018. Her Sonya character most often appeared on screen in the cheery blue uniform of the show's Marbella Hotel, where she worked alongside the show's titular character Jane. Here's another fun fact. Bruno Mars also appeared on the show several months before Caban's debut, playing himself during the season 2 finale and serenading Jane at her wedding with his song, Rest of My Life. I would like to introduce my third best friend in the world, the one and only Bruno Mars. Jessica Caban pledged to become a businesswoman in her very first 2008 Model Latina audition, and less than a decade later, she brought her dream to life. 
Monica Vaughn launched her J. Marie swimwear line in 2016. Speaking with Latina Magazine, Caban revealed that her goal as a bathing suit designer was to make every girl and woman feel like Maria from West Side Story, which is my absolute favorite movie and inspiration. If that's not all, Caban incorporates her heritage into the swimsuit label too, she told the magazine. Being a Latina, I find myself liking things extra spicy, so I include that mentality in my swimwear. Although some of the styles are definitely revealing, Caban wants her fans to know that her pieces are inclusive for everyone, adding that the line, quote, "...accentuates the good parts and hides all the tostones you just ate." While Jessica Caban has frequently spoken to the press and her fans about her career and entrepreneurial projects, she's definitely been more tight-lipped when asked about her relationship with Bruno Mars, particularly in the early days of their relationship. In 2011, during a breakout year for Mars' career that saw him climbing the Billboard charts and winning his first Grammy for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance for his song Just The Way You Are, Caban was asked in an interview about her relationship status with Mars. Speaking to Shay Star, Caban played coy and declined to confirm that she was seeing Mars, dishing that she tries to stay away from the rumor mill, with good reason, too. She said, After winning Model Latina, I had a blog come out saying that the guy I was dating at the time paid for me to win. That was really hurtful. Thankfully for fans of both Mars and Caban, the actress did offer up a glowing review of her beau. He's an amazing singer, a great person, really funny, and I'll leave it at that. Bruno Mars and Jessica Caban may have started dating in 2010, but their on-screen debut together didn't come until a few years later. By 2012, Mars had quickly become a major name in pop music, and shortly before the December release of his hit album Unorthodox Jukebox, he teamed up with the online comedy video skit group Funny or Die for a satirical video short. Set to the salt and Peppa song What a Man, the video played up Mars' good guy reputation, showing him protecting a beautiful woman in a plunging gown from a hotel room burglary. Interestingly enough, the woman was played by Caban. Later in the video, Mars is shown running out of a burning building carrying a pregnant woman, also played by Caban. While the Funny or Die sketch is still the only video in which Caban appears with Mars, she's also come to her man's aid behind the camera. If you look closely at Mars' 2016 24 Karat Magic music video, you'll see that the partying women in the background of the video are sporting designs from Caban's J. Marie swimwear line. A Hollywood couple that synergizes together stays together, right? Is it even an A-list relationship if it hasn't been posted on social media? Don't ask Bruno Mars, who has yet to share a photo of Jessica Caban to his official Instagram account. Thankfully for fans of the duo, Caban took the lead in sharing the couple's first official social media post. A 2012 tweet sees the two radiant young stars posing together in a selfie. As for making it official on the biggest social media juggernaut of them all, it turns out, it took a few more years for the couple to step out together on Instagram. Appearing for the first time together on Caban's account in 2014, the actress shared an adorably blurry photo of the pair wearing tropical garb and smiling for the camera, captioning the shot, always making each other laugh. Another one of the couple's throwback photos include a bowling date in 2013, showing the model and the singer dressed down in t-shirts and jeans. Caban wrote on Twitter, We had so much fun bowling last night, exhausted and sweaty, but our team won. Considering he's an A-list pop star, Bruno Mars' schedule is often packed, with the singer embarking on several world tours over the past decade in between his busy album cycles. But as Caban's Instagram shows, the couple enjoys their own fair share of beautiful getaways together, snapping photos of the duo traveling to exotic locales. In September 2019, Caban shared a shot of her and Mars sitting side by side over an open body of water, with the caption, Come hell or high water. The couple's previous vacation photo came a year prior, in December 2018, showing the pair smiling and wearing lays together in Hawaii. According to the caption, Mars and Caban were celebrating the honor of Mars Hooligan's bandmate and drummer Eric Hernandez, naming the happy couple godparents to one of his children. Caban captioned the loving photo of her and Mars together, 2018 highlight, officially becoming godparents together. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.